Okay, so new class expectations for fourth quarter. Not that stuff, that's not you. Okay, um, because I want us to be able to like really focus and work hard for fourth quarter. And it's gonna be um, even more imperative for like concert choir and magicals since we have festival in two weeks. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, two weeks from today, in fact, new songs that you haven't really looked at before. It's going to be great. Okay. Um, so I've decided that we are going to have <clears throat> a point system every day. You have the possibility of earning five points. Um, and, um, I didn't count how many there. I'm I think if we don't include today, there's 75 points possible before our first before the concert. And you'll have to have at least 65 points earned in order to participate in the concert. Okay, it's not that hard though. Most of you guys just do this anyway. So one is to just sit in your seat. <laughs> Um, for your classes, I'm going to say you're going to be in your seat on time, ready to go, instead of up talking to neighbors for the next five minutes after. You know what I mean? Okay, so sit in your seat. Um, you guys don't have that issue either. Um, number two is you will have your music out in hand while we rehearse. I think most of you do this as well, but I, if you don't bring your music, I am, um, I'm gonna make sure that we have enough extras that I can loan some copies out. You just turn them back into me before you leave that day. I won't dock you if you ask to borrow music before we start singing. <laughs> so if I say, we're gonna do this song, and first thing you say is, oh, I don't have my music, can I get that song today? Then I will give it, for you. I'll give it to you. Or if it's up on the board, prepare yourselves to, to have it. And if you don't have it, let me know. I'll give you a loaner copy and you'll still get the point, okay? I just want you to be able to be looking at music so I can just go this measure right here and be ready to go. Most of you do this already, like I said, but just to make sure we're on track. And again, you guys don't really have this problem either, but I expect you to sing and part Participate. <laughs> I lost track while I was writing it. Um, and so you're singing during class. You guys all do that too. So easy points, right? Number four might be harder. No phones, no phones, no phones, no phones. That is my new rule. At the beginning of class, I will say, Put away your phones and stand up for warm-ups. That's, that's your reminder, okay? So, if I see a phone out, I will stop everything we're doing and take your phone, or I'll remind you to put it away. If I see it out again, I'll stop everything again and I will take your phone. If this happens twice, then I just take your phone at the beginning of every class period. You check it in with me and you get it at the end of class. <gasps> yeah, no phones. This is supposed to be my policy, but I hate stopping class to do this kind of stuff. But I don't have any patience for it anymore. So no phones. If I'm working with the tenors and basses and the sopranos and altos are sitting there, guess what? You can follow along with what I'm doing with the tenors and basses <laughs> and say, what can I learn from what they're doing right now? Let me hear and see if I can make any, like I can hear any differences in what's happening. How can I make this work for me 
if it's like shaping a phrase, if it's a dynamic thing, if it is um, an accent, if it's anything like that, cool. How can you incorporate that into what you do? Or you can be audiating, which means hearing your own part in your head while they're singing at the same time to see where you fit in. Okay, same thing other way, right guys? So, um, yeah. Um, this also includes like, I don't want you having homework out or other books or anything else. Like when we're rehearsing, we're here, you have your music and you're rehearsing. The only time you do not need to have your music is if I say we're memorized. And so you don't need it out. But otherwise, music's out, you're ready to go, we're working. Um, okay. And number five is kind and respectful. Mm. <laughs> to teacher and students. Okay. So, so you need to be nice to each other. You need to be nice to me and respectful. Um, so like during mixed choir yesterday, I docked points from about four people because they continued to talk while I was teaching. That's not respectful to me or your classmates. So it's not just like not, I don't know, being like saying nice things. It's not just saying nice things. It's not talking when I'm teaching. Like I understand there's gonna be the occasional Oh, I don't understand what this is or whatever, like that kind of thing. But there's a lot of just unnecessary talking that happens too. So I will do my best to recognize when it's something that you're like trying to fix together and when it's just, I'm just here to have fun right now. Because I think, um, sorry, I'll go back to that in a thought in a second. So these are all 1.8, so five points a day. Um, and like I said, if we have 70 point, 75 points available before our concert and you have to have, oh, I think it's maybe 67. No. Okay. So 67 out of 75 points. If you are not here, oh no, I have to make it 65. Sorry. Um, I know you're not sad about getting an extra couple points, but um, if you have excused absences, you still get zero points for the day, but I will give you a makeup assignment you can do that is related to what we did that day. Because I'm gonna start um, keeping track of all the things, like in rehearsals yesterday, I wrote on the music, this is where we got to, we did this stuff. And so I can go back and like, if you're absent, then I'll say, this is what we worked on today. Your job is to know where every single accent is and to pronounce these words a certain way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and then when we come back to that section, I can kind of check with you and make sure that you've gotten that point. Okay. So those are for excused absences. If you slough my class more than once, you don't get to perform. If it's an unexcused absence, I should just say none for this class, honestly. I'll probably say, I don't know, we'll see. I should say none. <laughs> but I know it happens sometimes that parents don't always call in. I'll go back and forth on that one. But just don't slough my class. If you have more than one slough, you will not perform, for sure. Okay, so if you, that, if you don't come to class and you don't have permission from your folks, that's a slough. That's being irresponsible. So if you have more than one of those this quarter before our concert, you're not gonna sing with us because that's not fair to everybody else. And I know today is a snow day. I'm not gonna count today, okay? Today doesn't count because I know some parents will think it was just excused and they won't, like, whatever, whatever. Um, but from now on, from, like, starting Thursday, I'm expecting you to be here every time. Okay? Um, I 
Yeah. And there's no, there's no makeups for us left. I'm not going to let you. So that's, that's five points gone for the day. Okay. Okay. So like if you're sick, you've got COVID, you're gone for an entire week. I'm not going to say you can't participate in the concert. You just need to do the makeup stuff so that I know you're confident in your music when you come back. Okay. So, and just, I, I don't know if everybody realizes this, but if you email me and say, I can't come, I'm sick. I don't give you an excused absence. I just mark you absent. Thanks for the heads up that you're sick. I'm sorry. Have your parent call the office to excuse it. I can't excuse absences. I can't. And I won't for this thing. It's got to be officially through the office. You're excused. Okay? Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So the reason why I did this is that um, I, I was watching the rehearsals uh, and, and stuff when we were in Disneyland. And I wanted to have like a class talk about this. Maybe we still will. Um, so did you guys notice like how much stuff you got done in the Broadway workshop in such a short amount of time? I'll tell you, I don't know if you're watching the clock, but within the first, I think it was like 35 minutes 35 minutes of that Broadway workshop, at least the first one. Is that the first one? The first one. No, 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 no. The, the Broadway out. one, but the first one of the day in the Broadway one. Oh, yeah. yeah. I heard Kim saying in 20 Okay, so there was the soundtrack one. That's separate. Okay. This was the Broadway one. Okay, the first one of the day. That was my group. Um, yeah. It was, yeah, most well, of you. Except Lucy. And, um, and Harvey wasn't there. But... So, um, when we were there though, the first 35, maybe 40 minutes, we came in, they introduced themselves. You did a physical warm up, you did a vocal warm up, you did like a mental warm up, wake up thing. Like the physical warm up, I'm counting like that little dance move they had to do at the beginning, right? You learned the music and got it recorded and had your auditions for the solo. That was the, that was the first like 40 minutes. All of that in 40 minutes. It's amazing how fast that all happened. And all the directors were talking afterwards and were like, man, they were so attentive and they were so focused and it was awesome. But the directors were also like so prepared. And part of it was because they've directed that scene probably like 20, 40 times, right? Like a lot. They knew what they were doing and they were like, we've done this a thousand times before. So I'm going to take this group and you're going to take that group and we're going to do this. And you already know the dance. So you can help them while I'm doing this and we're teaching this step and then we'll plug all the leads in and we'll do, you know what I mean? Like it was so, it was awesome. I took notes. I took like a page of notes. So I want you to know that I was learning too. And I know that I'm not perfect. And a lot of the time I fly by the seat of my pants when I'm teaching because that's all I have time for. I tell myself that's all I have time for. Um, but I think it's worth it in the long run if I can invest the time ahead of time so that I am more prepared to be a better teacher for you and so that we can just be able to move quicker. Because I know I talk too much a lot of the time. So I'm recognizing my weaknesses and what I need to do to improve. And so this is one of them with my classroom management stuff. That's always been an issue for me. So I'm going to make my goal to be really prepared with exactly what we're gonna do every day and um, a lot more focused during rehearsal time. And we'll still like be able to take like breaks and we'll be like, okay, we've got like five or 10 minutes, just kind of, you know, like if things are going well, I'll give you time to kind of chill and we'll still have our treat Fridays and all that kind of stuff. So we'll still have time to have fun, but I don't know. I just feel like when we were, when everybody was just working so well together, it was just awesome to see how much could happen. And, um, yeah, it was great. 
Does anybody have any feelings that you want to share about how things went in the workshops? Yes. I do like how fast it was going, and I like that they like um, took like the ensemble. <laughs> 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 the ensemble, and like we're working with the ensemble while they had like the other director like working on like the vocals for like the um, for the leads, the leads. And, stuff. Yeah. and like I like how we already knew our part, and all we had to do was teach three people what they missed, and mm -hmm. then put like plug them in and then it was just like those three people that were able to get it fast because mm -hmm. he took time to like plug them in and we kind of helped them because we already knew what we were doing so mm -hmm. when he was working on like one lead trying to figure out what to do with that person we were able to help like another person figure out what they were supposed to do because yeah. we already knew what we were doing so I really like that and how like efficient we were so yeah it was pretty awesome anybody else you're all gonna be on camera anyway so it doesn't even matter <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I feel like even with all these rules, it kind of sounds like we're cutting the fun, but it was really fun to like move that fast. Like even though you're focused, it was like I was with my friends every day. Like we're still singing. We all are in choir for a reason. So like, mm -hmm. I think just because we have more enforced rules doesn't mean we can't have fun, even if it's not allotted fun time. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be fun, right? Yeah. And one thing I really love is like when you guys do something really good and you're like, oh, that was so awesome. <laughs> you know, like when you learn something that was hard and you're like, we did this hard thing, you know, and it's exciting to be able to say, yeah, we picked up that song super fast today and we learned all that choreography and, um, and it's fun to be able to do something together as a group and make something amazing. So yeah. Anybody else? Look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> it's probably like above your heads or at your feet and you can't see. I mean, you can see like... Okay. <laughs>